know, I can go on to talk about how I feel about that, but that's not where I'm at. I'm here to talk about what's happening with Oscar and where we at with this issue of this trial coming up. Since being involved in all this, I've come to realize today that um, it don't look like we're gonna get a fair trial. I recognize we have an incompetent attorney that's representing us. That we had no choice on the choosing. We were just giving him. And as I sit back and I listen to him talk behind closed door and try to impress me about what he's gonna what he's gonna do. But I can see in his heart that in situations like this. You can tell when a person had that makeup, and he don't have it. Measurably, it's a good attorney. And if we don't try to balance the scale, he don't win. Just that simple. You know. So it's my plea to you to share with your friends, your family, about what's happening concerning this case and how it will affect all of us in this room and our family. Because the Oscar is not going to be the last African American man or, or he not will only be another, he will not be the last murderer is what I'm saying. And if he's not going to be the last murderer, then we need to make sure that we do all we can today so that whoever is murdered next, especially when the cameras are on, that that family get a fair trial for justice. I would like for us to have a fair trial in this. I would like to receive justice for my nephew. But I realize that in order for me to receive it, I need you. I need every single one of you in these rooms to take a look at what's happening, to begin to open up some history books and to read the progression of this unloving leadership that's supposed to be protecting us and how it's taken a dive to be doing more about what they feel in their own mind is right. And why are they doing it? Because they don't go to jail. If they're not going to jail, if they're not being properly prosecuted for the wrongs that they commit, why should they be afraid? My hope and my prayer is that you, in this room, show up on May 18th to let the system know that you're taking a look at this very closely, that you're concerned about the outcome, and that you expect justice to be right. And the only way we're going to get this is to do it together. I received a poem, I'm not gonna read the poem because I can't read poems well, but the, what I read, the little bit that I read, it's awesome. I don't know if the person in here that wrote this poem is in the room, but I do wanna thank you. Thank you, you know. And I, you know, I'm gonna sit down, but it, there are many, different organizations that have taken it upon themselves to get involved in this. Shanta talking about a brand new civil rights movement taking off. We are at the beginning of this. This is going to go down in history. There's names like Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King and others that we continuously read about. Oscar name is going to be around for quite some time. 
it's going to be a part of the curriculum, especially if you get a law degree, to read. You know, but it's also going to be a part of the curriculum to understand where this society is headed. What kind of people are we? We need to ask ourselves that question. Do we just sit down and let things happen and not get involved? That's not how this nation was built. That's not how black people come up out of slavery. You know? And I could talk about all the different other races that it was able to overcome you know, the harshness of whatever was put down on them. You know, we are one, a community that has been pushed down and stepped on for quite a bit of time now by the injustices of the police department, and it's time for us to talk about it. Mm -hmm.